the, if there's a center to his thought, it is certainly the greatness and the sovereignty of God. It, it, it led to some unusual philosophical ideas. So Edwards had this idea, which others had had, called occasionalism, which is that the universe is created every instantaneous moment. God is so sovereign that this world now to now is a created each moment, each subsequent occasion. He also held to a Berkeleyan, George Berkeley or Berkeley, the namesake for uh, Cal Berkeley, this Irish philosopher to his form of idealism, not idealism like I'm going to be the best person I can be, but the philosophical idealism, which says that physical matter only exists in the mind. So you say, well, how, why would Edwards think that? Well, it was part of his effort to put front and center the sovereignty of God. So he said, the physical world only exists insofar as God's mind thinks that it is. It has no independent existence except that God is thinking it. Now, later, when John Witherspoon will be the president at Princeton, he makes a point to flush out all the idealists, all the Edwardsian idealists, and famously has a Scottish common sense philosophy. So Edwards had some <clears throat> unique views. And sometimes we make a mistake if we think he's the plumb line of Reformed theology. He was very traditional in some ways, defending the sovereignty of God, the wrath of God, original sin, but he was also a philosophical innovator. And so people have found in him sometimes charismatics like him because he has such emotive qualities and these ecstatic experiences. Sometimes Roman Catholics have appreciated because Edwards almost puts love into the equation as part of justifying faith, puts almost something else in there. 